Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This video I am going to discuss about a subject of Core Web Vitals or CWD. Now, if you are an SEO professional, you are already aware that this year, June 25th, Google have released one update called as Page Experience Update. And well aware in that update, one of the key factors, one of the key elements is basically the update related to the core web vitals. So what exactly is this uh, page experience update and how does this core web vitals fit into this? I am going to explain you about step by step in this process. So please watch the video till the end. So you get the complete understanding of the subject of core web vitals. So let's uh, understand what exactly is the update released by Google, which is page experience update exactly is. Now as per Google, page experience update is something which deals with the user experience on your web page basically it says how the user feel when he visits your web page what are the different key factors how are they performing in the website for a user point of view now what google did here they have given one of the major factor for measuring the experience which is core web vital so let's understand what exactly is this core web vitals what exactly they do they deal with and how are they going to have an impact on the results so think about it this way as you know from the beginning from 2018 onwards google started giving some updates where they inter they have uh, uh, given updates asking webmasters to speed up their website yes the same way basically core web vitals if you consider the present core web vitals as per google uh, official document there are three important factors which we have to improve in our project now what are the three important factors the first factor in core web vital is called as lcp which stands for largest contentful paint now in a while i'm going to explain you what it is in detail number two the second factor is first input delay which is fid factor which is basically we, we deals with the interactivity of the web page and third factor is cls which is cumulative layout shift in short it is defines the stability of the layout now here is the actual official document you can just look at the document i am opening this page and if you see on this particular page on this particular page of google official document web.dev slash vitals you can now see i am just scrolling down over here so now if you notice there are three important factors one is the loading factor one is the loading factor which defines the lcp and what is the range i will explain in a while then fid which defines the interactivity and the next factor is what cls cumulative layout shift so first let us understand what is lcp what is the meaning of it now think about it this way when you open a website you see in a website we have certain blocks which occupy the maximum space or which are the biggest or the largest element so what in, in indirectly lcp is doing is it is telling to google that when a person loads the page what is the time the largest contentful paint the largest area of your page for the first screen how much time is it taking to load now according to google that time should be less than 2.5 seconds so in other words when someone opens your website the largest contentful paint the first biggest largest element on the mobile or the desktop should load as quick as possible and less than 2.5 seconds now if it is between 2.5 to 4 seconds it is considered as improvements are required we need to improve it and if it is above 4 seconds then google will say the experience of this particular uh, factor is not bad it will go into the red zone now what is the next option first input delay now basically google suggests it should to be less than uh, 100 seconds milliseconds and uh, between 100 to 300 milliseconds it needs improvement above 300 milliseconds it has to be Poor. now what is the meaning of this what is fid basically you open a website right many times what happens you want to interact with the elements on the website but still the website is stuck it's not actually loaded completely so your clicks your elements your interactivity is blocked so what fid is trying to do is as soon as the user opens the website 
is your interactivity getting loaded in less than 100 milliseconds if it is yes perfect you have a good interactivity rate which makes your web page with user experience as a good user experience and number three cumulative layouts shift in terms of a normal user let me explain you you have a website you see the website is uh, visible to the user now imagine in this website suddenly the website is loaded and you got a pop-up in front of the user now actually this is a shift or sometimes you got some expanded from the top bar you are expanding an element now that is also changing the shift the layout uh, shifted is making the shift change in the layout meaning in CLS the goal of the Google by giving this metric is to make your layout as smooth and as static and as relevant as static as possible don't keep changes make a lot of changes in the layout so user get a bad experience so this number should be 0.1 and less than 0.1 is good 0.2 to 0.25 is basically needs improvement and higher than uh, you know 0.25 is poor so these are the three metrics which you have to master now one more interesting point if you are uh, already aware of speed optimization we used to initially known to do we don't have these factors in the beginning we used to just make our website as fast as possible but even sometimes what happened you make your website faster but you know you may fail on these factors why because these factors require a little bit of uh, tweaking in your website little bit of adjustments in your website in a while i'm going to show you these concepts as well now coming to how do i know whether the page which i'm trying to optimize is it perfectly optimized for core web vitals is it optimized or not so here google provides you a lot of information about it number one is you can able to see this data from chrome user uh, reports that is one option where we can see uh, chrome user experience reports one uh, tool they provide number two is in your search console right away in your search console you have got a new tab page experience where it can show how many pages from your website are failing or passing in the overall uh, test of the core web vitals where you can see each page also what is the core web vital you are missing on and number three third option is this is a interesting option you can see all these metrics right away in front in your google speed insights tool you can a very important question how would i improve how can i improve these factors if my website is not having properly all these factors how do i improve now good thing and a good news is all these factors actually are mentioned when you are using the uh, tool when you are using the google uh, speed insights uh, uh, page insights uh, tool page speed insight tools it you will be able to see the exact data and what elements you have to improve where are you missing where are the some of the factors you have to improvise so let's go ahead and i will show you one real info and also before we go into the discussion try to understand this aspects because this data is collected over a period of 28 days for new websites you won't have this data because uh, google don't have enough information from different users so they don't have the actual data now this data is divided into two, two options one is called as field data which is the last 28 days report and one is called as lab data lab data means right now what is your present position of your website so first i would like to show you the tool here so i will just open up uh, the speed in www.webtrainings.in okay great uh, if you notice here our core web, core web vital of our home page is almost for mobile it is almost near to the good level which is above 90 is a good level but we are hitting 88 fine i would like to do some more tweaks so it can go it can reach 90 as well but uh, if you see in mobile i guess in desktop it will be better uh, okay yeah superb in desktop our uh, page is hitting what 95 which is almost in a good range right now here is the interesting point uh, you have to remember i told you already that there are two types of field data here right i told you there are two types of data one is called as field data one is called as lab data okay one is field and one is lab now here i would like to showcase some interesting data here so look at the information fcp basically the time taken to load the first element on the page that is fcp we don't calculate right away here now here it is c lcp we have so if you see here we have lcp what is the lcp value 3.5 s 3.5 seconds what was the value we wanted it should be 2.5 seconds as per google factor fid is good it is 18 milliseconds and actually it should up to 100 milliseconds is allowed and our cumulative layout set layout shift is also 0.1 which is pretty good so where 
okay over the previous 28 days collection data field data does not pass the core web vital we have passed the income input we have passed the cls we have passed the fid we have passed the cls but we have failed in lcp which is 3.5 seconds so how do i improve it what can i do to change it now here if you just scroll now here is something very interesting to understand now what you see here basically the data which i'm right now you're seeing here this is field data little bit scroll upwards and here we get something more interesting and this information over here you notice here is a lab data here if you see the lab data meaning the present status of the website it is contentful paint two seconds yeah it's improved a bit and time to interact three sec three point three seconds that's fine it's okay and time blocking is 30 milliseconds and cumulative reaction should little bit increase okay largest contentful painted 2.9 previously it was 3.5 so little bit of improvement happened right but it is not perfect it is not yet uh, you know better so how can we improvise it so here you can just take this information right away from the tool itself scroll down a bit and it tells where are you you know where are you missing out where are the issues with your page what are the things you have to improve so if you notice here i want to improve my fcp you see here some small option of lcp so i will add this lcp here uh, sorry lcp click on it all right here it is i have two things to change if i make this two, two changes basically i can improve my lcp all right what are those two changes now here are the two important changes we have okay those are reduce unused css what does it mean if i have some css which is used in my web page which is taking a bit of time to load i can ask my designer sir please clean up the css please remove the unnecessary plugins and also uh, remove all the unnecessary themes and uh, unnecessary stuff so unused CMS, css are those elements which you don't use right now in our page so we can eliminate and we can improve one second with that and reduce initial server response time it have a 0 0.7 see server already we are on a vps so really i don't need to work on that aspect but one second of unused css i can able to show in fact great thing about google is they will also exactly show which css you want to eliminate now it shows the css all right it shows the exact file also where you can actually go in and you can able to edit the file similarly if you want to improve any other factor you can still use the same concept as well now let me explain you one more uh, simple example this all right let us see an example of speed optimization just to understand all right so let's uh, take any random website i'm taking here so let us take yashoda hospitals dot com because just it's one of the popular hospital i'm just trying to see what are their core web vital assessment as per google right now look at the core assessments of Yashoda hospitals page it got a rating of 16 on mobile and what is their lab data says as well as what is the field data says we will just review that option in a while now so let us take the first factor here fcp which is the first contentful paint which is 4.5 seconds way above fid is very good it should be less than 100 milliseconds it's just 52 milliseconds quite good and LCP is actually very high. It is actually greater than four seconds, which is uh, considered as poor. And CLS, which means layout shift is also very high. It should be zero point less than 0 0.1, but it is uh, 0 0.47, which is much, much higher. So these are the factors. Plus, if you see, this is the last 28 days data. But if you even see the lab data also, in lab data, actually it is almost failing in all the aspects. You are uh, contentful paint, even LCP, even cumulative layout shift, even the time to interactive F FID, almost everywhere it is failing. So here, what can they do? So now here is an interesting thing to understand. Google provides a very clear understanding of what has to be done. So scroll the page a little bit at the bottom here and you will get a lot of information. So click on LCP. So what does Google says here? 
if I want to, if I'm the webmaster of this page and I want to improve the page, the first thing I need to do is reduce unused JavaScript, which can save me 2.1 seconds. Eliminate render blocking resources. Basically, when you have JavaScript on the top, it will block a lot of different resources. So render blocking resources, 1.67 second, remove unused. Remember, in web trainings also, unused CSS was there. So we can eliminate these three things and we can improve. Now, one more option extra is ensure text remains visible during web font load and also avoid changing critical requests. I think this one will be, okay, let's take the CLS factor. Avoid serving legacy JavaScript to modern browsers. Okay, old JavaScript they don't want. Okay, and CLS, let us see. Image elements do not have explicit width and height. Yeah, this is very interesting. Generally, even in my website, I had the logo I uploaded, but it doesn't have explicit width and height. So because of this CLS factor, you know, the explicitly defining the width and height of the image is also important. So that is one small factor which can have an improvement in the cumulative layout search factor itself. So if you just click on here, which elements don't have? See here, which elements don't have the exact IMG is there, but no size. IMG is there, but no size. So it will exactly tell which uh, elements don't have a proper sizing factor. So we can able to work on this uh, elements. Now in the same way, if you see here, if I click on LCP factor, and with JavaScript, which JavaScript is there, which we can improvise to make the changes. Now question now, arises sir how can we change this all stuff how can we make it better now in my personal uh, opinion in my own personal uh, method which i have improved from my website what actually is the best option to do here is number one first thing i will recommend you use wp rocket plugin which is one of the best for adding so many different factors to your website wp rocket premium plugin but it is worth it okay that's the first plugin which i will recommend you to use because it has almost all factors like uh, it removes unused css it removes unused javascript it has a render blocking feature it has a catchy feature it, it has the cdn feature if you want to apply that option so many things are there which makes make which will make sure that most of the common problems will be sorted out in your wp rocket then what i will suggest you the second option i would like to suggest you is when you have a website try to explicitly define the width and height of the images that is fine but at the same time try to make sure that the large part of your uh, of your front page the front of the page don't put lot large images instead of that put some basic text so that it loads very quickly and you are uh, you get passed from the lcp factor so try whatever the first fold of the page is in your mobile phone what try to make this page at this area a load as fast as possible by eliminating unnecessary sliders by eliminating unnecessary images by eliminating unnecessary videos in the first fold of the web page so you have a logo that's great you have a menu you have some uh, small image load it quickly and some basic content and try to load it as quick as possible by minimizing the actual required plugins and other aspects as well so the idea what i have applied is user wp rocket plugin which will very dramatically help you to improve your overall speed and number two second thing is tweak your theme make changes to your theme make the make the elements more load faster by optimizing the images or by changing the position of the images and many more factors you can apply so that will also really really help your website to load as quick as possible and also number three try to minimize the plugins use minimize minimize the plugins so if you are using certain plugins which are enabled which are not really used so just pause them at least deactivate at least deactivate them so that they are not going to be a burden on your website loading speed so these are the simple ways where you can implement so i would suggest wp rocket plugin you can use and then tweaks on your theme and the content layout structuring changes and then minimize the plugins usage and also optimize the images etc this all will help you to load your website as quick as possible and you will be going to get the core web vitals and the page experience factors on the top level and this will help in see as of now just recently in june only they have report they have released this page experience report you may say sir so many websites are ranking on the top position they don't have core web vitals but wait for some time it will take some time for google to slowly incorporate all of this in as a you know some of the major factors so it as a time progress you will see that the better 
performing website better experiencing uh, better websites with good user experience they will slowly jump up in positions as well so be prepared for it rather than waiting when it will happen so let's try to implement this concepts of core web vital to make your website better faster and easier for user to load i hope you understood this concept if you have any more queries you can ask me in the comments below i will answer your questions thank you very much